On behalf of C. Joe Adriano Imperato and the Imperato family, I would like to welcome you to this video training series on Kajikimbo's alphabet techniques. My name is Mitch Powell and it's my honor to share with you my knowledge of Kajikimbo. In 1947, on the island of Hawaii, five martial artists began training together secretly on old warehouses and abandoned buildings where they compared their knowledge of fighting and tested their skills one against the other. In a two-year period between 1947 and 1949, Adriano Imperato, Joseph Hoke, Peter Y.Y. Chu, Frank Ordinez, and George Clarence Chang combined their knowledge of karate Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Kempo, and Boxing, both Chinese and American, to create Kaji Kimbo, the first American martial art. In 1950, Adriano Imperato began teaching at the infamous Palama Settlement when he merged his students from Halava Housing with a group of students being trained by Woodrow McCandless. Imperato became the chief instructor of the group with his brother Joe Imperato and Woodrow McCandless assisting him. In 1955, Mariano Tiwanak became the first student at Palama Settlement promoted to the rank of Black Belt. As the Palama Settlement School began to grow, Imperato added additional schools around the island in places like Kaimuki and Wahiwa. By the late 1950s and early 1960s, the first wave of Kajukimbo teachers began spreading the art to others. John Leone, Sonny Gascon, Tony Ramos, Aleo Reyes, Charles Gaylord, Al DeCoscos, Joe Halbuna, Sid Asuncion, and George Polly Seronio are but a few of Kajikimo's earliest pioneers. Kajikimo has grown from its original hardline Kimpo Karate method to include four distinct branches. The original method, the hard soft method of Chuan Fa, the internal method of Chum Pai, and Wan Hop Kundo, the combination fist style created by Al DeCoscos. From its early beginnings at Palama Settlement in the 1950s, Kaji Kimmel has flourished with schools now located all around the world. Our goal at MAD Productions is to offer you the highest quality, authentic Kaji Kimbo available. The alphabet techniques, once thought lost forever, are now available exclusively through MAD Productions with the blessing of the creator and founder of Kaji Kimbo, our beloved Sijo Adriano D. Imperato. The alphabet techniques begin with the defender and attacker facing each other and performing the customary bow. As the attacker punches, the defender will step back to gain distance, lock the punch away, then execute a front ball kick and a hammer fist strike to the bicep at the same time, followed by a punch to the right temple. Opposite side. The key to this technique is the outward block, moving the punch away so that you can execute the kick and the follow-up strike. Alphabet Technique B. As the attacker punches, the defender will step back and execute a short inward block strike, opening the attacker up. Claw strike to the face while kicking to the groin at the same time, 
followed by a punch to the ribs, ox jaw strike to the collarbone, and a forward kick. B, opposite side. The short inward strike will allow you to open the attacker up so that you may continue the attack. The double ox jaw strike and the forward kick at the end can be done at the same time. Alphabet technique C. The defender will move into a southpaw medium cat stance. As the attacker punches, the defender will block with a palm heel strike on top of the wrist and follow with a front ball kick to the ribs, a chop to the throat, a counter chop to the same location, hold the neck, execute an elbow strike, hop sing by switching the feet, and executing a right elbow strike, driving the attacker down and chopping the attacker in the throat. Opposite side. By standing in the southpaw stands, the defender is allowed to move quicker and faster. Alphabet technique D. Technique D is much like technique A but with an additional set of moves at the end. Step back and block outward. Execute the hammer fist and the front ball kick at the same time. And then punch to the face, this time with a middle knuckle to the eye. Strike the back of the calf. Single knuckle strike to the spine, followed with a forearm strike to the throat. Opposite side. Block strike and kick, punch, hammer fist, strike the spine, and strike the throat. Alphabet technique E. The attacker punches, the defender steps back, blocks inward, executes a front ball kick to the ribs, a groined area, steps out, strikes the groin with the right hand, then steps inward and strikes the rib area with the left elbow, stepping out again, torquing the body and punching forward with the right hand to the solar plex or sternum. Opposite side. The key to this technique is the pivot motion from the hip, turning, turning, and turning, developing the torque for each strike. Alphabet technique F. The defender will move into a southpaw medium cat stance. The hands are raised, blocking the jab and blocking the right hand with a palm heel strike moving forward, driving an elbow upward, back fist to the face or bridge of the nose, holding the attacker, switching the feet and driving the left elbow into the attacker's throat, taking them to the ground, followed with a left chop to the throat.
opposite side. The palm heel strike allows you to strike the attacker's hands quickly, then move in and execute the elbow and the hammer fist. The counter elbow is used to take the attacker to the ground. The final strike, the chop to the throat. Alphabet Technique G. Technique G is much like Technique A, again with a different set of movements at the end. Blocking outward, hammer fist, and front ball kick, followed by a single index finger to the eye. Circle the arm around, hammer fist the back of the calf, and this time draw your hands inward and then strike outward with the forearms, the left forearm to the throat, the right to the solar plex. Follow forward and execute an elbow strike to the attacker's sternum. Opposite side. Single index strike to the eye, striking the calf, watch the circular movement. Follow up, make sure that the leg or the attacker's arm is not in the way, if so move it, and execute the elbow strike. Alphabet Technique H. The defender will step back and block inward, striking the attacker's arm, then kick the attacker in the ribs with the left leg. Cross over, chop to the side of the neck, then hold the attacker's collar area with the left hand while they step to a horse stance and punch, much like the form Nahanshi. Scoop the leg with a forearm strike to the calf and counter chop to the throat, taking the attacker to the ground on their back. Opposite side. When executing the high kick, if you can't kick with a ball, kick with the shin area. As you punch, pull the attacker towards you and when you scoop the leg, continue to move your hand forward so that you can chop downward. Alphabet technique, I. The attacker will punch and then step forward and punch again. The defender will be in a southpaw medium cat stance. Palm heel strike the jab and then palm heel strike again as the attacker punches and steps forward. Drive the elbow into the collarbone a back fist strike to the temple, then step forward and place your hip at the attacker's hip and flip the attacker all the way over in a modified Hani Agoshi judo hip throw. Punch downward to the base of the attacker's skull or back of the neck. Opposite side. Parry, parry, strike, back fist strike, and flip. Hip to hip. If you continue to push forward, the attacker's entire body will follow with her face to the ground. Alphabet Technique J. Alphabet Technique J is much like Alphabet Technique A, but the attacker will step forward with her right foot and lunge punch. The defender will step back and block outward, then move forward, kick and strike, and follow with the punch to the face. The defender will then place the right foot behind the attacker and execute the judo technique of Sotogari. Opposite side.
Now watch as you control the head and the leg at the same time to execute the judo technique of Sotogari and takedown. Alphabet technique, K. As the attacker punches, the defender will step back, strike the arm, opening the attacker up, executing a front ball kick to the ribs, hold the attacker and punch forward, then circle the elbow upward, around, and back in to the attacker's solar plex, then execute a side kick to the chest or stomach area. Opposite side. Pay attention to the circular motion of the right arm as it goes upward and back around. Alphabet technique L. The defender will move to the right, stepping towards 2 o'clock, locking down with a long inward, stopping the attacker's punch. Then step back to the middle, drive an elbow into the neck or collarbone area, followed by a right chop to the neck, switch their feet, and strike the attacker in the groin with a punch. Allow the body to spin to the right, and then execute a left side kick to the chest sternum or solar plex area. Opposite side. The key to this technique is to move out of the way and then move back to the center line. Strike the throat, groin, and then finish with a kick. Alphabet technique in. Pay close attention to this technique because the defender will begin differently than in the previous techniques on this side. The defender will step back with the left foot and block outward with the left hand versus outward with the right hand. Front ball kick to the ribs, slide forward, strike the groin with the palm, then take the knee out with the right leg, side kick. Opposite side. Again, the defender will step back with the left foot and block outward. Kick forward, strike the groin, and take the leg out with a side kick. Alphabet technique in. On technique in, the defender will move both hands at the same time with the left hand being raised at ear level, palm up. This prepares you for the second move, which is to slash the eyes while you kick forward. Place your foot down, out to the side. Strike the side of the attacker's neck and finish by twisting the hips and striking the neck one more time with either the side chop or the forearm. Opposite side. Pay close attention to the twisting of the hips. Twist, 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 and finally a full twist to produce the power to take the attacker out. Alphabet technique O. On this technique, the defender will be in a southpaw medium cat stance and execute all three movements at the same time. A left hand block, a right hand strike to the bicep, and a front ball kick. 
place the foot down, and counter strike to the side of the neck. Step forward, lock the attacker's arm, place the right hand on the head, and flip the attacker over by moving the right leg back, then holding the attacker's arm, crossing over, and stomping down on the attacker's face. Opposite side. All three movements are done at once. The chop, disorient, and then the flip to take the attacker to the ground. The stomp, side of the face or even the neck. Alphabet Technique P. Technique P is the first two-man attack in the alphabet series. The first attacker will punch and the second attacker will attempt to grab. As the attacker punches, the defender will step back to gain time and distance and then step forward and strike into the ribs. Raise the hands to deflect and kick the second attacker in the groin with the right leg and step down, pivot and strike the first attacker in the, in the kidneys and then over the top into the back of the neck. From the opposite side. As the first attacker punches, the defender will step back to gain distance. Then step forward, kick, taking out the second attacker, pivoting, striking the first attacker from the back, and finish them off. Alphabet Q. On technique Q, the defender will slide back and do a cat stance, creating distance from the attacker's punch. but not too far so that they can still execute a front ball kick followed by a boxer's left hook and then a right chop to the throat. Opposite side. Notice the left hook from American Boxing, followed by the right chop from Kempo, a combination of the Kempo and Boxing in Kaji Kempo. Alphabet Technique R. The defender will begin in a southpaw medium cat stance. Strike the attacker's jab with a palm heel strike, and then execute a parry, a hammer fist, and a front ball kick all at one time. Follow up with an elbow to the throat, a collarbone area, a back knuckle strike to the temple, a hammer fist to the groin, and a left hook to the side of the face. Finishing the attacker with a left kick to the back. opposite side. The parry, the combination strike, the elbow, the back fist, the hammer fist, the hook punch, and the roundhouse kick to the spine. Alphabet Technique S. Technique S is the second two-man attack. Much like the first attack, the defender will step back, create distance and block, 
step forward and punch to the ribs with the left hand, then turn and face a second attacker and kick them in the groin, driving them backwards. Place the foot down and chop behind them to the first attacker, striking them in the back of the neck with a chop. Opposite side. As the first attacker punches, the defender creates distance, then steps forward and strikes, then attacks the second attacker and chops the first attacker in the back of the neck. Alphabet Technique T. Technique T is much like Alphabet Technique B. The initial block and the claw and front ball kick are the same. Claw strike the face, front ball kick. As the defender goes down, they grab the attacker's collar and pull them downward and then strike downward with a hammer fist strike to the back of the neck, creating almost a guillotine-like movement. Then rotating the arm over the top, stepping back and executing the same strike again, but from the bottom. Then hold the attacker and punch to the face. Then pull their head downward, kicking the attacker in the face yet again. Stepping out and executing a side kick to the head ribs or chest. Opposite side. The key to this technique is to hold the attacker to prevent them from falling down. Each one of these strikes is capable of taking the attacker out. But by holding them, you can continue to control their body and prevent them from falling. Alphabet Technique U. The defender will start in the southpaw medium cat stance. Execute all three movements at one time, the parry, the hammer fist to the bicep, and the front ball kick to the groin. Then chop the attacker in the side of the neck. Push their head down, step forward with the left foot, and strike downward with an elbow strike to the spine. Slightly move the foot back, punch downward to the ribs, and then kick forward with the left foot to the kidneys. opposite side. Executing all the movements at one time. Follow up with a strike. Push the head down to control the body. Elbow strike, punch, and kick. Alphabet Technique V. Technique V is the last of the two-man attacks. The first attacker will step forward and punch, and the defender will step back and block outward. Then move forward and strike the attacker into the ribs with the left hand. Turn and face the second attacker, kick them while striking the first attacker with an index knuckle strike to the ribs. Turn and hammer fist strike the spine area of the first attacker. opposite side. Pay attention as the second attacker is kicked and watch the right hand strike the first attacker in the solar plexus or ribs simultaneously. It's a hidden move. Alphabet Technique W. The defender will slide back into a cat stance to create distance from the attacker's punch while blocking inward. 
then slide forward by stepping forward, striking on the attacker's throat, collarbone, then an ox jaw strike to the sternum, and a front ball kick with the left leg. Opposite side. After moving back to avoid the punch, the defender will step forward and strike, counter strike, strike again, and kick. Alphabet technique X. The defender will start in a southpaw medium cat stance. At the same time, parry the strike and strike the attacker in the bicep with a hammer fist. Slide in and execute an elbow to the side of the neck or collarbone, a hammer fist to the groin to bring the attacker's face down, and then drive the elbow upward to the attacker's throat or chin. Side kick with the right leg to finish the attacker. Opposite side. The block. Slide in and strike. Hammer fist. Elbow. And side kick. Alphabet technique. Y. The defender will step back and block outward, then move forward with a front ball kick, and then slash the left knuckles across the temple. The left hand will then strike back with a back fist. The hips will twist. The right hand will punch to the sternum or shoulder plex, followed with a right roundhouse kick to the head or back of the spine. Opposite side. The block, the kick, knuckle strike, back knuckle, a punch, followed by a kick to the head or back of the spine. Alphabet technique Z. Defender will step back and block inward, opening the attacker up. Execute a kick with the left leg to the ribs. Place the foot down forward, chop to the side of the neck, then punch forward with a bear claw strike to the throat, followed by a front ball kick to the groin, driving the attacker backward. Opposite side. After the block, the kick is to the ribs. If your leg is too long, simply use the shin area of your leg.
You alright, dude? Oh. What was it? It was nothing but to the head. No, it was this. <laughs> <laughs>